Well, here we go. If this is your first time, welcome. This is Gino Pettis Adventures. I'm still Gino. If you're a regular, uh, welcome back. Glad to have you. Be sure and uh, subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell. You get a lot of these. Try to do one every day. And today, we're going to be talking a little more in depth about Colombian women. Colombian women, things I wish I'd have known when I was 30, things I wish I'd have known when I was 45, things I wish I'd have known when I was 50. Took me to the 60s to figure it out. <clears throat> well, gentlemen and ladies, I understand that uh, today in the United States, things are not going very well. Prices are high, gas is high, rent is high, food is high, food is going to get scarce, women are going to get crazy, er. Uh, and what I found out through all of these years of, of marriage and love in my life, um, I've been happily married a few times and happily divorced a few times. Uh, so that being said, there's always, it doesn't matter how thin the salami slice is, there's always two sides to it. And uh, I probably wasn't the best mate on the planet either, but some of the women I picked weren't that shiny. But that being set aside, let's talk about the good times. If you're serious about living the end of your life, and I mean, I don't mean to be such negative Nelly, but if you're over 45, I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, we don't know how many days we have left, whether you're 35, 45, 55, or 65, or 75. So why not make the best of it? So why not have a good mate? So why not live in a good place? I'm a patriot from the word go, but things are not going very well in my United States. And the key point to my existence these days in Colombia, South America, is... Gas prices are at $2.30. My rent is $225 a month. I make $1,000 on Social Security and I live like a king. And why do I live like a king? Because I have a Colombian woman that loves me and cares for me and takes care of me. Yeah, she takes really good care of me. <clears throat> And every now and then I'll do something stupid, as most men do. Uh, and even when she gets angry, she still takes care of me. And she doesn't get angry at me that often. And I asked her about something that we were going to do the other day. And she says, don't worry. Wherever the ocean goes, the beach will follow. Can you believe that? Wherever the ocean goes, the beach will follow? She just told me it didn't matter. Rain or shine, hell or high water money or no money, that she's going to be beside me. Well, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't know about you, but I found that, um, that attribute in women in the United States pretty hard to find. But it runs rampant here, because if they love you and they care for you and they marry you, or even if they don't marry you, if they're just living with you and they care for you, they, they will stick with you through thick and thin. So, brothers, my recommendation to you would be get on a Latin website. I don't, don't, I mean, I used latincupid.com um, because that's all I knew. And now there's columbiacupid.com. That's a good one, too. But I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's other ones out there. Don't take my word for it. Go look for them. But if you're lonely and you want somebody that really gives a damn about you, you need a Colombian woman. She's not the modern woman. She's still the lady that'll cook your dinner, even if she's mad at you. She won't poison you either. But I regress. For the most part, I've had a wonderful five years with the love of my life. And it took me, uh, I had to be 64 years old before I snapped. To, to what I was doing wrong. And it was, if nothing changes, nothing changes. So I, I changed it up. I went on latincupid.com and I found a lot of great ladies 
and uh, Maria and I just hit it off. So, I guess I'm worried about you guys, and I care about you, or I wouldn't have this station, I mean, this channel to start with. It's an alternative of what we grew up, I mean, America isn't the America I grew up in. Far from it. It's, it's not even the America of 30 years ago. I don't know. I don't know what in the world happened. I guess we were too busy being selfish to give a damn what was really going on in the United States. And it turned around and bit us in the butt. So here I am in Colombia, living like a king, $225 a month rent, utilities all in for under 70 bucks, including fiber optic Wi-Fi for $20 a month. 20 bucks a month. And it's a really safe place. Now, Bogota, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back up on my soapbox. Bogota, Medellin, Cali. You couldn't pay me to live in those places, but you couldn't pay me to live in Chicago, L.A., or Atlanta either. No, you couldn't get me to live in Dallas, Houston, Miami. No, it's just not for me. But San Gil, small 60,000 people. I live up here in Valle de San Jose, probably 5,000 people. It's 15 minutes from town. You can get anything you want in town <clears throat> and most anything you want here. It's peaceful and tranquil. And the problem being, it is peaceful and tranquil. So if you want nightlife, if you want booga booga, if you want all of that good stuff, this is not the place for you. And Colombia is not for the mild of heart. You, you, I mean, you have to have a little adventure is a menu. You have to be able to go ride a bus 100, 100, 100 kilometers. You have to ride a cab. You have to ride a motor taxi. You have to get around. You have to, I think where a lot of people screw up, become an expatriates, they move to a new country and expect to live the life that they were living in the United States of America. Well, I'm sorry. It ain't going to happen. It's different. It's not worse. It's not better. It's just different. And it's a lot cheaper. So the quicker, the quicker you get in and find some new friends that aren't expatriate friends, as soon as you find some locals that are friends and you start living with your neighbors and talking to your neighbors, which pretty a lot of people don't do in the United States. You'll find out that life is good here. It's simple. It's kind. The people are, for the most part, happy. Um, there's some political issues, but God only knows we have our own. And there are things that we take for granted in the United States that don't happen here, like illegal search and seizure. They'll laugh at you for that one. Because they're going to search you and they're going to seize you if they feel like it. But that, you got to be doing something heinous for them to do that. They don't just come up, come up on you like they used to in Mexico and try to get a bribe out of you. They're just not like that here. So that being said, I, I'm, I'm going to go back to the, to the Colombian women. You need, to, you, you need to figure it out for yourself. You need to, to, to see that I mean, my biggest enemy, my biggest enemy was me with Maria. I was always on the defensive and she would have to tell me, no, Gino, you don't have to defend yourself. I'm not like that. And she's not like that. She doesn't have an ulterior motive. She just likes to be with this old guy. And she's no spring chicken. She's 65, but she's beautiful. And I'll say it again, and she takes care of me, and I take care of her. And no, we don't make a hundred grand a year, but we live in a really beautiful house, and we have a nice car, and we never lack anything on a thousand dollars a month. Go figure. So, if you stayed with me this long, thank you. I really appreciate it. And uh, <clears throat> you'll have more of these. I'm going to start doing interviews uh, on the street 
with Latin ladies, just so you can see, see how kind they are. So if you forgot to subscribe, hit the like button, get the notification bell so I can, you'll find out when my new videos come online. Share with a friend. I mean, you got a buddy that's lonely. I mean, if you're happily married and you're watching this, well, God bless you. Good job. Good job. But I'm sure you got a buddy that isn't. And uh, share these with him. And remember, today is the first day of the rest of your life. And if nothing changes, nothing changes. So we will see you on the flip side.